Today is uh, Monday, 16th of December morning. I'm back in London in IIED after a, a grueling uh, 36 hours extra uh, in Lima uh, over time. Uh, in the end, we managed to get a reasonably good agreement that will take the, the Paris uh, text forward. Uh, at one point, early Saturday morning, we were going to be uh, rushed through with a, a very, very bad text which none of the developing countries liked and they protested very vehemently against it. So the president of the COP then uh, went back to the drawing board and started consultations and then finally early morning on Sunday uh, they did manage to get a text. It's not ideal but it, it keeps the show on the road and basically it takes us uh, with a working arrangement to go to Paris with several meetings in between. The next one is going to be in Geneva in February and then in Bonn in June, and then a possible third one in October before we end up in Paris uh, in December next year. And that's the big prize. Uh, the Lima Agreement, to a large extent, was to set up the content of what the Paris Agreement would be. A couple of things that we had wanted to be in there aren't explicitly in there, but they're not uh, left out completely. One of them is whether or not we have an adaptation goal. Uh, developing countries had wanted that. It is alluded to, but it is not set up uh, as a specific goal. And the second thing we had wanted in there uh, was a specific mention of loss and damage, which again has been um, referred to in the preamble, but is not a decision text. But we can live with that. What happens now is that all countries are now going to have to produce their intended national uh, plans of mitigation by March. These will all be collected and reviewed. And then, uh, based on that, we shall start serious negotiations on both mitigation to reduce emissions, on funding for both mitigation and adaptation. The good news is we reached uh, $10 billion uh, contributions to the Green Climate Fund while we were in Lima. That's a good start, but it's still a long way to go to reach the $100 billion, uh, by 2020, which has been promised. And so there's still a mountain to climb between now and Paris, but the good news is that we are on the right track and if there is goodwill from all the parties then it's possible that we may get a good agreement in Paris. However, uh, negotiations are always tough as we saw this time. They go over time. Negotiators don't try to uh, compromise till the very, very last minute and so getting something out of the negotiation process is becoming more and more difficult. To some extent we will have to do things on the ground ourselves and not wait for a miracle to happen in Paris.